Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Are you still preparing <laughs> for, for the parade? No, right? How oh. how was the parade? Was oh. it was it a success, the parade? Ah, que fuimos a, al desfile. <laughs> yes, parade. Parade. Uh -huh. El desfile es parade. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. How how was it? Oh, okay. Was it a success? Was it a was it Very a success? Good. Was it good? Okay. Yeah, I, I saw some videos. I saw some videos on, on TikTok on were you around the IFP Crecer? Uh, yes, ahí por la Araujo. <laughs> okay. Yeah, from Alameda Enrique Araujo all the way, all the way through. Yeah, that's that's la Manuel Enrique Araujo, right? All the way. Yeah. Through Metro Sur, Metro Sur, next to Metro Sur, right? Going down. Now, La Roosevelt. La Roosevelt, yes, that's Roosevelt Street. Okay. Good, good, good. Thank you very much for your reminder, Miss. Thank you. When I just. Okay. Mm -hmm. Link to access the class. Okay. Somebody's asking for the link. Let's send the link. Okay. Okay, let's start the class. Last time on Thursday, last Thursday, we talked about um, present perfect. And I asked you to practice. Did I send you the class? I didn't send the class. But well, it's on your platform, right? This video is on the platform already. Should be. Uh oh, no, it's not on the platform. Uh oh. Okay. Well. Wow. Okay. The whole explanation of the present perfect in Spanish is on your platform and on well, it's on on the YouTube channel. So if you access the the playlist, it's on the YouTube channel. But let's remember really quick. Let's practice really quick about present perfect. Um, Odilio, can you make, is Baudilio here? Hold on. Where's Baudilio? Hold on. There we are. Okay, Edmundo, I'm sorry. Edmundo, can you give me a present perfect sentence in Spanish? Edmundo, one sentence in, in Spanish using present perfect. Las pas party. Okay. Your microphone. <laughs> Perdón, yo he trabajado aquí desde 1999. <laughs> That's a good one. I have worked here since 1999 holy mother of god 24 years for the force may the force be with you <laughs> may the yeah. force. this is from yeah. star trek i'm sorry this is from star trek el que vea esto me va a maldecir porque estoy haciendo la señal de star trek y estoy diciendo una frase de star wars no 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 <laughs> okay i'm mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> Que la fuerza esté contigo. Wow. 24 years. I have worked 24 years for the force. That's good. 
Okay, that's present perfect. Anybody else? Another sentence in present perfect. Okay, I actually sent you the grammar to the WhatsApp. So let me do something really quick. Save image as here. Just saving the image and I'm gonna open it here. There it is. Okay, so last Friday we talked about this. Let me show you. We described the grammar involved on the present perfect. And it's very simple. In fact, it's just like Spanish, you know, it's very similar to Spanish. So if you say, yo he hablado inglés, you say, I have spoken English. So for affirmative sentences, you need a subject, you need a subject, the auxiliary, which in this case is have, have for I, you, we, they, I, you, we, they have, and he, she, it has, okay? That's the, the first rule we explained. I, you, we, they have, he, she, it has. Rule number two, what is the rule number two, everybody? Who remembers? Exactly, the verbs in past participle. And this is on your list of verbs, the third form of the verb. So if I say write, write, wrote, written. Escribir, escribí, escrito. So we're using escrito, right? Escrito, the third form. If I say run, 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 run. Oh, run, run, run. Corro, corri, corrido, right? If I say print, print, printed, printed. Imprimir, imprimí, imprimido. No, right, impreso, right? Yo he impreso, okay, I have printed. So with that in mind, we have subject, auxiliary, have has, and the past participle of the verb plus a complement. And then I can use it this way. Maria has gone on vacations. I have captured many criminals this week, said Edmundo. Okay. They have been to Paris. Notice they have been to Paris. One more thing we started. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I said, we learn to um, contractuate. We learn contractions between the subject and have or the subject and has, okay? For the negative form, we have exactly the same as every other grammatical rule where I explained you Teacher, teacher, excuse me. Uh, I yes. El mundo. Okay, so sorry. Um, so I was saying negative. We use on the negative, the auxiliary as usual. We have the not to the auxiliary, have not or has not. And we continue using the verb in past participle. Examples, I haven't told you yet. We haven't eaten yet. People haven't shown up at the parade. We said, Mauricio hasn't run the marathon. That's the negative. And for the questions, that's every other grammatical rule. We have the auxiliary starting the question, the subject 
the verb in past participle and the complement. And remember, you can only answer yes, subject, the auxiliary. So yes, I have, no, I haven't. Yes, she has, no, she hasn't, okay? Just don't forget that. Do you have any questions on this, on the grammar? No it's, question. It no should question. be it should be never here, right? Not never N O V E R. No, it's never, never found a home. Uh, les recomendé esa canción de, de Frank Sinatra. No sé, esas canciones de Frank Sinatra. No sé si alguien las buscó. <laughs> okay, so let's practice. Let's practice. How are we going to practice this? Well, simple. Let's make an example. Um, everybody. Hoy no he tomado café. Translate. Hoy no he tomado café. It's a negative. Oscar. <laughs> Ubíquense con el cuadrito que está en el WhatsApp ahí. Y lo único que tienen que hacer es reemplazar parte de la fórmula, right? So, en negativo, hoy no he tomado café. Today, I know coffee. Okay, let's see. Today, I know coffee, but... I know coffee. Today, I know coffee. Ahora, si se fijan en la fórmula, en el negativo, hay algo ahí en el not. ¿Qué es lo que acompaña en la negativa siempre, en toda regla gramatical? And remember, acuérdense que take es tomar, pero un objeto. Y tomar de algo de beber es... Drink. Drink. Drink, drink. ojo, Oscar. Drink, drunk, uh, perdón. Drink, teacher, drunk, teacher. Aquí, drunk. Uh -huh. aquí, drink es beber. Sí, correcto. Beber. Uh -huh. Tomar, beber, right. Pero nosotros lo, como latinos lo tenemos así, así ajá. puede ser que nos confundamos. Ajá. Drink, drunk, 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 drunk. Uh -huh. Por eso, ¿cómo, cómo se dice borracho? Drink, drink. Not coffee. Correcto. I haven't. Y digo drunk. ¿Cómo se dice borracho en inglés? Bebido. Drunk. Bebido. Tiene lógica, ¿no? Drunk. Ok. I haven't drunk. Coffee. Today I haven't drunk coffee. Ahí está en el chat. Today I haven't drunk coffee. Okay. Um, give me another sentence. Let's make another sentence. Uh, let's think. A ver, ¿has ido a Cojutepeque? That's a question. Have you gone to Cojutepeque? That's right. Have you gone to Cojutepeque? Ahí está. Have you gone to Cojutepeque? So, again, there's a question. So, you have de auxiliar, ahí tenemos el auxiliar, el sujeto, el verbo en pasado participio y el complemento que sería tu cojutepeque. ¿Ok? ¿Alguien tiene, alguien más tiene problemas? ¿No me escuchan? Hello, hello. I can hear you. I can see you. Ay, mi I am listening. You, you listen, okay. You can hear me, okay? okay. With difficult. 
Yes, yes, the signal is poor. You have poor signal. Tienen señal pobre, comprendo. Okay, let's continue. Let's see. But I am here. Thank you. A ver. Everybody, Enrique, Oscar, Edith, José, Benjamín, Wilbur, todos, vamos. Comprendo que algunos tienen problemas de señal, no se preocupen. Lo comprendo, solo procuren eh, ver el chat de Zoom, si me escuchan. Ok, translate, translate. Tú has estudiado mucho. Tú has estudiado mucho. Vamos por partes. ¿Qué sujeto es tú? You. You, right? You. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar de este tiempo, Enrique? How? Uh, en, en... No, perdón, es que... <ríe> no, está bien, el mundo, está bien. Ajá. Enrique, ¿usaría have o has? Eh, has. Mm. Pero you. Ah, va. I'm sorry. Damn. Ajá, you have. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de estudiar? Eh... You... Exactly, very good, Enrique. Started, very good, started. Y como digo mucho, cuando algo es intangible, cuando no lo puedo tocar, decíamos... Cuando algo es intangible, ¿qué, qué ocupo? ¿Many o much? In the... Many. de billete. <ríe> Many es de contables, correcto. Entonces ocupo much. So, ¿Cómo sería la oración entonces, Enrique? You have studied much. Perfect. You have started much you have started much le decía que puedo contractar you've started much you've started much eh, una observación en su listado de verbos van a encontrar los verbos regulares el pasado participio de los verbos regulares es un mismo pasado ok, es el, el mismo pasado, entonces tengo walk, walked Walked. <ríe> ok. Walk. Y el pasado participe es el mismo que el pasado. Walked, walked, walked. Otra cosa. Hay verbos que riman. Como ese de. Um, decía drink, drunk, drunk. Drink, drunk, drunk. O otro. Sing, sang. Song. <ríe> ok. Hay verbos que, que riman y esa es una forma de, de memorizárselos. Ok, so, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a ir en grupos pequeños a revisar ese listado de verbos, la tercera columna de los verbos irregulares. Ahí aparece todos los verbos irregulares tienen una forma participio diferente. Okay, por eso se llaman irregulares, porque cambian en su pasado y en su pasado participio. Entonces, lo que quiero que hagas con tus compañeros, con tus compañeros, hacen en el grupo. Cualquiera puede elegir un verbo en pasado participio, tirárselo al grupo y que alguien haga una oración. O todos juntos creen una oración. ¿Ok? Jared. Let's go. Ok, let's go. Let's do it.
Ok. Practice, practice compañeros, compañeros, classmate, police mate. Okay. María. María. Did you hear me? Yo caminé esta mañana. I walked this morning. ¿Ya? Voy a decir una yo, María, en español. ¿Ya? Sí. Dígalo, eh, señor Martínez. Yo he jugado en la tarde. Yo he jugado voleibol en la tarde. I have played in football. No, voleibol. Ah, voleibol. I'm sorry. Voleibol in the afternoon. Thank you. Very good. Good job. Adán. Yo compré pan esta tarde. No, yo compré pasado, María. Ah, es la sí. que piensa. Vamos a ver, yo compré. Y si eso... Um, es una experiencia que yo he tenido ese Dios ¿cómo diría entonces? experiencia ajá, que, que yo lo he vivido ajá yo he, uh -huh. yo a ver yo, yo viajo no, yo, a ver. Ah, a ver. Yo he. Eh... Yo he comprado pan esta tarde. <ríe> Ahí está. O mucho, o mucho I, pan. I yo have, he comprado. I have bought bread uh, in, the more, in the afternoon. Perfecto. I have bought bread in the afternoon. Yo he comprado I pan en la tarde. bread. This afternoon. This afternoon, esta tarde podría ser también. Very good. Next, Karen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here, the teacher. Hello, teacher. ¿En qué consiste la práctica? Simplemente agarrar un verbo en pasado participio y hacer una oración entre todos. Por ejemplo, el verbo comprar. Tengo comprar, el pasado sería compré y el pasado participio. Uh, comprado. Comprado. Ajá, so, comprar, compré, comprado. Démosle un sujeto. Y el auxiliar, a ver. El auxiliar es, a ver. Entonces, eh, Baudilio ha comprado café. Baudilio ha comprado café. Ajá. Su, eh... Si se va a la imagen del WhatsApp, uh -huh. esta es una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? Maudilio ha comprado café. Ya dijimos que el pasado participa de comprar es bot y ya tengo el sujeto, Baudilio. Baudilio es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Sí, he, he. Sí. He. Entonces, Baudilio has. Has bought coffee. There you go. Baudilio has bought coffee. Más chivo. Baudilio's bought coffee. Baudilio's bought coffee ok, se, puede, se, se le puede agregar el, el apóstrofe el apóstrofe 
Ok. Vamos a ver. Fu, eh, fu, el perdonar es forgive. 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 Correct. Um, forgive. Eh, forgiven. Forgave. Uh -huh. Forgiven. Right. Forgiven. That's right. Forgive, forgave, forgiven. Uh -huh. Sería Amilcar. Forgiven. Has. Has forgiven. Uh, your girlfriend. Your, your girlfriend. Okay. His girlfriend. His girlfriend. Okay. Amilcar. Te toca uno. Amilcar has forgiven his girlfriend. Good. Drink. O sea, drunk, drunk. I has drawn coffee. Solo que para I, you, we, they, voy a ocupar have. I had drunk coffee. Perfect. I have drunk coffee. Simple. Simple. Next, Jose Milcar. I have, but, but I have to fall a class for yesterday. Yo creo que entró el teacher. Eh, el eh, teacher, yo por, por ejemplo, estoy queriendo decir, yo, de, I, yo I tuve que disminuir. Reduced class yesterday. No, pero es que como tenemos que usar el, el verbo irregular y el verbo irregular de disminuir es el fail, 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 fail. Disminuir. Reduce. Reduced. Reduce. Ajá. A ver, ¿cuál es la oración en español? ¿Cuál es la oración en español, José Benjamín? Yo, yo tuve que disminuir no las clases, clases ayer. ayer. Ah, yo, yo he tuve. tenido. Yo he tenido. Que reducir ah, las clases ayer. Yo he tenido que reducir las clases ayer. Ah. Yo he tenido que reducir las clases ayer. Entonces sería I have I had to reduce class, I had to reduce classes, classes yesterday. yesterday. Ajá, le quitaríamos el tenido, ¿sí? Sería yo he reducido, reducido. las clases ayer. I have reduced classes, classes yesterday. yesterday. Uh, uh, ahí le quitamos el tú. Sí, no va el tú, correcto. No va el tú. I okay. have reduced classes yesterday. Sí. Yo he tenido que... Oh. Ajá, ¿cómo diría eso, José Benjamín? Yo he tenido. I have had to reduce. Ahí sí. I have had to reduce Class classes... Yes. Yesterday. Yes, yesterday. Yo he tenido que reducir. Ahora, ¿por qué pasa esto? Porque el had es mi verbo principal. Yo he had. tenido. Sí, sí. Ojo, eh. Have had to reduce. 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 Yo he tenido reduce. Reducir. Ah, ok. Como okay. diría entonces, eh, Benjamín, yo he tenido dinero. Eh, I, I have. I have read dinner. ¿Qué pasó? I have had. I, I, I have. Sí. Yo, yo he tenido dinero. I have. I have had money. Exactly, um, Santos. Very good. I sí, have sí. had money. I have had money. Correcto. Okay, okay. Puedo contractuar. Sí, Puedo contractuar. I've had money. I have money. You know? I have had money. I, I have uh, I have money. Perfect. I have money. Thank you. Got it. Okay, keep yeah. going. Thank you. Going. Okay. How many sentences have you made?
Ok. ¿Han podido hacer alguna oración? Siguiendo las fórmulas del WhatsApp. Yo he tenido mucho trabajo en el día. Ok. No. ¿Cómo estamos? Y le pongo que el señor me mandó a firmar una familia, no sé si hay que Okay, today is Monday, September 18th. Monday, September 18th. No se les olvide la plataforma, señores. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present teacher, I am here. Arles Ernesto López. Si me ayudan con la cámara, les voy a agradecer. Recuerden que esta parte es la que audita Insafor para asegurarse que ustedes no tienen a su gemelo villano aquí conectado recibiendo las clases en su lugar. Thank you. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio. <ríe> Baudilio Lenilson Rivera Ramírez. Present teacher, I am here. Great. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Excelente. Excelente. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Está en problemas de tráfico, este teacher. Comprendo, thank you. David Antonio Rosales García. Ahí está David Antonio oh, Rosales. Thank you. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edmundo Antonio Martínez Lucha. Present teacher. Excelente. Enrique Pérez Lemos. Present teacher. Excelente. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Excelente. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Present teacher, ahí el Mr. Vallero como que está incapacitado. Híjole, ok. I understand, thank you. Herbert Aristides Oya Ruiz. Present teacher, I am here. Thank you. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present. Got you, thank you. Juan Francisco Arrazabal Calderón. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present, present. Thank you. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Present teacher, también este reporte que Edith Consuelo eh, se encuentra también en problemas de tráfico, igual que Cecia. Comprendo, comprendo. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Mi Cedillos estaba por acá, ok. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mucha de... Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos, Mr. Santos estaba por ahí. Ah, ya, ya lo vi. Problemas de señal. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Excelente. 
Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. And Salvador Manrique Hernandez Present teacher, Vasquez. present. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's move on, let's continue. So with your platform, the next part of today's class Five. is a conversation. 5.6, the conversation is actually I have. Hi everyone. Actually I have, it's a conversation. Let's go straight to it. And as usual, I will just go ahead and read it slowly so you can practice and then make sure you, you practice. This is important. Remember, if you don't practice, and practice, you will not gain confidence and pronunciation. I'm okay. It's un poco borroso, lo siento. Uh, this is HD, actually. Sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Okay, that's the best I can do. So, uh, let's read this quickly. Slow motion. Okay, camera lenta. I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Have you been here long? Wait, wait, give me just a minute, El Mundo. Okay. Es importante, luego practicamos juntos el mundo, ¿ok? Eh, es importante que ustedes practiquen, entonces me aseguro de esto, de dejarle grabado esto para que el que de verdad quiera aprender, que tenga las ganas de aprender, pueda regresar a la plataforma o ver el video luego en YouTube y repetir cuantas veces sea necesario para adquirir la pronunciación similar, ¿ok? Lo hago lento primero y luego la forma en la que se debería hacer naturalmente, ¿ok? So, one, two, three, dice, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? A restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? Is it good? It's delicious. It's delicious. I've had it several times. Repito. I've had it, had it several times. Or how about Thai food? One more time. Or how about, how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Have you ever had green curry? Oh, have, have. Actually, casi no se ve, teacher. Ya les envío la conversación a su WhatsApp para que lo puedan ver bien. Actually, actually, I have. I lived in Thailand. As a teenager, I ate it a lot there. Más rápido. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. I lived there for two years. Okay, vamos rápido. El mundo. Yeah. Help me. One, two, three. Give me just a minute. Uh, okay, I'll let's... Be, I'll be Monday. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It is delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. 
I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Perfect. Good job. Okay. Let's remember teenager. Les tres están en la primera sílaba. Teenager. 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 Más rápido. Teenager. Teenager. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Let me send you the screenshot. Please practice. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It's serious. I mean, this is very simple. Uh, don't forget that repeating is what will make you have better pronunciation. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay, the conversation is on your WhatsApp. There you have. Let's go in small groups. Please practice. Practiquen cuantas veces sea necesario, por favor. Tomémonos esto en serio, señores. Let's go. Bueno, empieza a ver si oralemos. Yo empiezo, David. Bueno, yo sigo. Ok. Eh, I am sorry, I am late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Can you choose a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't eaten. It is good. It's delicious. It have it several times. Oh, oh, oh! How about that food? Can you, can you even have grip curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot too. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived here for two years. Continua Every Amilka practiquen. Oya. Mr. Oya. Ordene, ordene. Practique con Amilcar o con Rosales, tal vez están por ahí disponibles. A ver quién. Eric, a lot there, there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. <coughs> mm -hmm. Saúl Ernesto. Saúl. Let's go to practice. Okay, let's practice. Okay, practicen con mis cedillos. Mis cedillos. I, I am Peter. Mis cedillos. Uh, no estás, este... Lucha. He has a poor sign. Okay. Let's practice, Saul. Let's practice. Uh, I am Peter, Mister. Okay. okay. Go ahead. I am sorry. I'm late. Have you been here long? I know. No. Peter. No. Only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. 
Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It is delicious. I've had it several times. <laughs> or how about Thai food? Thai, Thai food. Thai food. Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Very good, Vicente. Right. Practique con otra persona. Yo ya practiqué yo con dos. Hey. Voy a practicar aquí yo solo. In the news, I have it several times. It is microphone or connection. Had you ever you ever had green curry? I live in Thailand. In Thailand. As a teen, a teen nigger, I ate it a lot there. I did. I didn't know that. How long did you lie there? I lived there for two years. Okay. Juan Carlos. John Charlie Portillo. Ahorita, démosle con quién? Si quiere, conmigo. Usted yeah. Peter y usted es Armandi. Bueno, I am sorry, I am like, have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Hey, have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't eat it good. It's delicious. I had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know. Tak, how long did you live there? there? I live there for two years. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Now I'm Peter, you're Mandy. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, I haven't. Is it good? It is delicious. I live have how is several times? Or how about that say food? Have you ever um, had green curry? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand. Thailand. As a teenager, I live it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay. Well, teacher, I have a question. Teacher, una pregunta. Yep. How do you say Moroccan or, or... Moroccan food? Moroccan. Moroccan food. Is, what it is? 
Ah, what's the meaning? What is the meaning yeah. of Moroccan yeah. food? Yeah. Hay, eh, comida mor marrueca. Marrueca. Comida ah. marrueca. Yo creí que era macarrón. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like macarrones. Have you ever eaten, eaten Moroccan food? Eating, eating Moroccan food. Uh, and... Lo último, I lived there for two years. Years. I lived there for two years. 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 Okay. And... Okay. Have you ever, and have you ever had green curry or curry? What the meaning? Oh, how do you say? Microphone. Curry. 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 Okay. Thank you, teacher. No, I have is curry. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been uh, here long? No, only for a few curry. minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Eaten. Eaten Moroccan food? Is a question? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. He has it several times. Oh, how about that food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. 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 I a little eat, bit loud. Eat a lot there. I, I, I ate it. I ate, I ate a lot it. there. I, I it. ate it a lot there. I, I, I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. I am sorry. I am like, how did you live How long? Next. Again. Ya estuvo, hombre, vos. Dale. En inglés, say in English. Who chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It is good. It's del it's it's del delicious. Delicious. I, delicious. Deli? No me, Deli? no me sale el, el shoes. Shoes. Delicious. Delicious. Exactly. Delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> I I beheld it several times. Or how about thy food? Have you ever a green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Thailand. As a, <laughs> in Thailand as a teenager. 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 Teen, teenager. Teen teenager. Teenager. Perfect. Teen teenager. Mm -hmm. I I ate it's a lot of there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. Good. <clears throat> I didn't know that. How long did you live there? How long did you live there? Live. How long did you live there? Live. I lived. I live. Uh, uh, no, I would you. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. 
I lived there for two years. Excellent. Let's go, Mr. Lemos and Mr. Gavidia. Le doy la oportunidad a, a Ever. <laughs> Adelante. Ever. Adelante. Oye, está usted, usted este Ever Peter. Peter. Oh, yeah. I am sorry. I am like have you been alone? Oh, online for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Identify. Have you ever eaten Morocco food? Eaten. Eating. Eating. Morocco food? No, I haven't. I, aquí es, I haven't not. Sí, teacher. I haven't. I haven't. It's it good. It's delicious. Like her in several times. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia delirious? Delicious. 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 It is delicious like her in several times. We are not our hope about some food. Have you ever had green curry? Actually? I am, I live in Thailand. As a teenager, I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat, eat a lot of this. Then, I didn't know, I didn't know, I creo que dice ahí, porque tiene un punto. I didn't know. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ya estoy aquí. Okay, Juan Carlos, thank you. Well, don't forget. Teacher. Sí. Ese Dios. Me, me puso asistencia. Aquí estaba, aunque sea por pedazos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did. I did. Ok, chicos, bien, espero que practiquen. I'm sorry, una... difficult, I'm sorry, pero thank you. You're welcome. Hey, a lot con hecho, Magdalena. I know, I know, it's ok. Muchas gracias a todos por ser yo famosa. I'll see you tomorrow, same time. Good night. Tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher, Bye. my friends. Bye. Yeah, I love it.